Hey guys, there's a new update about DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, it's 18.6.6. .6. And you know what's very cool? Every time when on the desktop version there's a new update like 18.6.6, .6, it also get an update on the same day for the iPad since the iPad version is out. So not just that, we have all the tabs like you remember, all of those tabs, edit page, fusion page, color page, we have all of them with a shortcut even on the iPad version. And in this video, I wanna check if that still works even in the newest update. And what is the update? So you can always come here to the update history and then here, for example, look for the update history and then we see here on the more 18.6.6, address default alpha mode interpretation of some QuickTime media, address some of the Sony XAVCH clips being software and offline, addressing some media management and issues with trimming from the Sony 8K, Material and also general performance and stabilization improvement. So that's the minor one. But the cool thing that I wanted to point out is every time we get an update on the big one, we also get it on the iPad. And now we are doing this together. So the update is done. Let's see if DaVinci Resolve still opens. We still have the same intro screen, the 18.6. And so this is now our DaVinci Resolve on the iPad. It loads the project, the last project. And now let's see if the shortcuts are still working so that I can open edit page fusion still works all here. Perfect. That works. And so one more thing, I'm working now finally with the speed editor because I said to you guys already last year that I will make a speed editor video. They will be on the YouTube channel, but this device is so cool. There's so many functions to that. This will a complete this will become a complete module, so you can purchase that separately, but it will also come as a new module for the DaVinci Resolve iPad Masterclass, and this is what I'm working on right now. And also, I don't know if you noticed or have seen it, we also launched the Final Cut Pro iPad Masterclass. This is why I still have the cover here. That's for Final Cut Pro on the iPad. There's a complete masterclass now available, which is still on sale, so if you wanna check this one out, it's on my YouTube channel as well. So that's it for this video here today. I hope you enjoyed that. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding-a-ding in -ding the bam-bang-gong, and we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye-bye.